the number one search vehicle in the U.S., almost the number one vehicle sold. Today, Furman Ford has given us the 2022 Ford F-150 4x4 Lariat in your agate black metallic. The new 5.0 liter Super Crew adds a black appearance package, a bed utility package, and the all new electric F-150 Lightning for this year. But before we get into all electric, we still pack the Coyote Performance. The interior is going to be full luxury because of the Lariat package that packs practical in work or everyday use with rivals like your Ram, your Titan, your Silverado, the list goes on and on, but everyone knows what an F-150 is, especially when it comes to that Coyote exhaust that comes out of the back. I'm Anthony from Hawkeye Rides, and we're gonna go over all the specs and details, starting now. F-150 Lariat sports appearance is going to just stress all the bells and whistles and it's going to back it with that Coyote V8. Starting on the lower, you're going to receive two blacked out tow hooks with clearance at 8.4 inches, full box steel frame, your front parking sensors on the lower bumper with your LED fog lamp, and it goes into the matte black three horizontal bars that flow into the headlamp assembly with your signature daytime runnings that widens the fascia at 79.9 inches, which is roughly the same as the competition, a flat long hood that houses this V8 Coyote with the fenders that flare out, encasing these 18 inch six spoke glass Gloss black wheels, independent double wishbone front suspension with coil over shocks, a stump lower control arm. The rear is going to get your leaf springs. The length of the vehicle is going to be a little bit longer at 231.7 inches and a wheelbase at 145.4 inches. You got your air vent here with the F-150 Lariat badging over it and it's going to be plain yet simple and that's really what you're wanting. I like how everything's blacked out even the side view mirror caps because it just keeps that styling cues and it matches the whole car. You're running board by Ford and I like how there's no chrome except on the exhaust outlet, your sports 4x4 LED tail lamps is going to start in the rear. You're going to have your spare tire tucked underneath with towing up to 8,200 pounds with a max payload at 1,785 pounds. Your reverse parking sensors, 360 degree reverse camera. And again, no chrome at all except for the blue emblem. I like the F-150 badging going inside to your cargo bed. It's going to be the soft to open with a length that's 67.1 inches between the wheel well housing at 51.1 inches, a height of 21.4 inches, giving us a total cargo at 62.3 cubic feet. But you know, this is the V8 Coyote. We have to hear that signature exhaust note. The new Ford F-150 Lariat definitely has all the cues that will be a contender against the rivals. And yes, if you go to the EcoBoost, the numbers will project better. You'll obviously get better gas consumption. It might be a few tenths of a second quicker, zero to 60. But at the end of the day, it's not a Coyote. And they back the performance with a 5.0 liter V8 that produces 400 horsepower and 410 pound-feet of torque that's paired to a 10-speed automatic transmission, achieving 16 to 22 MPGs. That's good for a zero to 60 in the low six seconds, which again, you're not really looking for that kind of performance. You get the exhaust note that is a signature to that Coyote V8. Plus, I mean, how many more years do you think we're gonna really keep V8s in trucks or in vehicles? So this is definitely something special. Let me know in the comments what you think about the 2022 Ford F-150 Lariat. As we go into the interior, go over the tech and take this for our test run. Entering inside the Ford F-150 Lariat, you're gonna receive 40.8 inches of headroom, 40.4 inches of legroom. 
their bucket front seats, black leather with contrast piping and stitching perforated, 10-way power adjustment for the front seats and three-way memory for the driver. So I do like the setup so far. On the passenger side, dual glove box. So this is definitely something that's gonna be used. That dashboard is going to have this brush metal through the whole trim and it's going to wrap around into that maroon with the contrast stitching on the top. You got your B&O sound system with a huge storage tray up here that's above this upgraded 12 inch touchscreen with your navigation. So you have the pinch, you have the swipe, it's has your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Sirius XM, Bluetooth connectivity, Amazon Alexa, Wi-Fi hotspot, streaming Bluetooth audio, a nice thing is you also have this screen here on the side so you can have two different screens going on at the same time and you can see what's inside your bed for the bed camera. When you click on to there, you can see some of my junk I have and you can also see the zone lighting around it, which is cool for camping. When you click into the features, you do have your towing, which is a really nice feature. This is great for your checklist in the sense of if you're going to maintenance your trailer more or less, it will help you do that indicating how many miles and to make sure everything is correct. Click into the settings so you can see all the other apps in which we have. You can also click up to 10 devices up to 50 feet away for the Wi-Fi capabilities. Switch to reverse. You do have a 360 degree reverse camera with full trajectory. You can click here and it will zoom in to the tow ball. You can click here and this you can click into different sections of the cameras. So it is very easy for your reversing. Open up inside here, you have your wireless charger and two USB ports. What I do like about this vehicle, when you push the button, it lowers the gear lever inside. It's leather wrap with that contrast stitching and this will be flat so that way you can use it for your paperwork if you're doing construction or even if you're just on vacation. Another nice thing is you could fold these seats completely back so it's literally a bed. So if you are doing any traveling, this is one of the only trucks that you could fold it all the way back like that. It is crazy. Open up inside here, it's huge. And you have some more USB ports and a tray that you can move around as well. Elbows are gonna be pretty soft. You got the two-tone look throughout. The steering wheel's multi-function. The gauge cluster is digital, which is going to be better than the RAM because it's a digital readout. And you can go through an array of information you can also do the trailering here so you don't have to go into your infotainment screen. You can do your navigation. The nice thing about this is every single thing is basically right in front of you. So it is very up to date. The door panel, you're going to get some harder materials that's going to be on the top. One touch up and down for the windows. You get this brush metal memory seats for the driver, a storage tray there, your B&O upgraded sound system and more storage that you can fit. I don't know, maybe 10, 16.9 ounce water bottles. I mean, you do sit very comfortable, a large panoramic moonroof that goes all the way to the back seats. Let's see how I look back there. For the back seats, I'm at 40.4 inches of headroom, 43.6 inches of legroom. I have a lot of space. In any of the trucks you go with, you're going to have a lot. Comfort in this is really good. The way the seat is, it's more flat designed, which is going to be good when I'm sitting in the center. You could fold these up at a 60-40 flat bottom. You're going to have a... Home plug, two USB plugs, a 12 volt, heated seats, your rear vents, more cup holders in the center, storage behind both of the front seats. And like I said, the pano comes all the way back. It's pretty much where it should be. In the center, you can fit about a 20 ounce, maybe a 32. It's not too bad in that. For the door panel, you're gonna have some harder materials on the top. You get your one touch up and down, cup holder in the top, another storage tray. B&O sound system with a massive storage on the lower trim. So you're taking care of full capacity of storage and room. Let's see how I look in the center. Sitting into the center, you actually sit down more so than you do on the sides. Headroom, not an issue. Leg room, the same thing. Not really blocking anything in the center. I have my own areas that I can put storage, plus I have storage behind the front seat. A lot of space in this one, and I do like how you sit down. The back, though, does push out a little bit, but it's not really uncomfortable. It actually will be a pretty decent ride, even if you're going on a long journey. And when you get these trucks, they're literally like SUVs, and I say it in every single review because you have so much space. The only thing you'd be really missing is entertainment. But at the end of the day, everybody has their own tablet or iPhone or Android and you got plenty of charging ports for pretty much everybody back here plus heated seats so you can relax on that long journey. Taking the 2022 Ford F-150 V8 out for our test run. This is the Coyote engine and yes the performance is not going to be as good 
as the EcoBoost in the sense of you can get a little bit more done with that one. However, this is a unique engine. You buy this particular vehicle because of the sound that you get out of it. You buy it because it's a V8, naturally aspirated. I mean, these are really the main reasons why you want this. And it's to the point where nowadays it's hard to get these type of vehicles. As for the visibility on the F-150, you can see pretty well. The suspension, it holds itself pretty comfortable. The only thing that I wish is that I could hear that exhaust note a little bit more. Maybe they threw in another exhaust pipe so that way it would just look a little bit more sporty. But for the most part, I mean, this is an everyday, a practical vehicle. When you get into the V8, the practicality does go a little bit lower, but I mean, it is what it is. You pay for what you get and here we go. And I mean, you can hear that throaty exhaust note, dual paint windows are gonna be encasing you. So it is gonna be super quiet for the most part. Even when you're going over different impurities in the road, you don't really hear it. So that is a nice little attribute as well. Even though it's a long vehicle, you can see everything. So that does help it as well. So if you do need to maneuver in and out, you can do so with it. Obviously, you're gonna to have to be a little bit careful. It is definitely a great alternative to a Ram Hemi, to a Silverado, to a Nissan Titan, in which they have these big V8 engines in them. Brakes to show you some braking on it pretty much stop on a dime. I mean, it's a larger truck, it's heavy, so don't go crazy, obviously. Now, there is three things I like and three things that I dislike. Is anything more than that? I'd be buying this vehicle. The three things that I like, obviously, you already know that Coyote V8. It is something that when you drive this particular vehicle, and I do recommend people test drive it, so that way you can see it's great, because look, Obviously, it's not screaming numbers, but it's able to do everything that you need in a pickup truck. The second thing that I like has to go to the driver's seat, how you can fold this down flat like a bed. So if I'm camping, if I'm doing any construction, I gotta do things for a long journey, I can do so, I can take a nap and relax. It's awesome. The last thing that I like goes to that gear lever. It folds all the way down, giving me a flat surface that I can put my laptop, I can put any work papers, and you know, even on the passenger side, they can do the same thing. So it works out both ways. They really are thinking about a practical everyday use and even a work use on top of it. Three things that I dislike goes on to the passenger side. Where you put your feet, for the left foot, it sits up a little bit. It's really hard to find a happy medium. For a long journey, it could bother you a little bit. So it, that should be something that was fixed in the engineering. The second thing that I dislike is that you have to pay more for this V8 Coyote engine. And I understand they're trying to push you into the EcoBoost. They're trying to push you into electric vehicles and get you away from the V8. But I mean, stop charging me a premium. I want this raw V8 Coyote. The last thing that I dislike, even though I want it, it's not the best in performance. And I dislike that because when you get into this tier and you have this much horsepower and torque, 400 horsepower is quite a bit. I understand the car is heavy and even 410 pound feet of torque, it pushes you back, but it's still slower than the EcoBoost. This is a large truck, I understand that. But when you're putting that engine, give me more performance. Give her a little go. And this is pretty much what you're gonna be doing with this Coyote V8. But I mean, if you're not enjoying it, why would you buy this particular car? The Lariat is gonna give you all the bells and whistles in the interior. We have that upgraded B&O's eight speaker sound system, the updated technology in the gauge cluster is the digital readout. I'd like to thank Furman Ford of Countryside for giving us this 2022 Ford F-150 Lariat for our car review. If you're already a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Hawkeye community. If not, click that subscribe button, check out the details, the merchandise, the website, and everything we do here at Hawkeye Rides.